My name is Mark Chalmers, and I'm president and CEO of Energy Fuels. Energy Fuels is a completely unique company that's focused on the energy transition. Uh, we have a company that is centered around uranium production, and we're rapidly advancing a portfolio of critical mineral production from rare earths and other elements uh, in an extraordinary way. And uh, it's a very exciting story, and there really is no story like Energy Fuels. Mark, welcome to London. Hey, it's great to be in London. I, I'm, well, there's, there's a lot going on downstairs, isn't there? there but, there's uh, a lot, yeah. But we dragged you away, right? Um, big news from you. Tell us what it is. Uh, I, yeah, Matt, I tell you, I couldn't be more excited about um, getting the positive shareholder vote out of the base shareholders for the combination with base resources um, that uh, has a long history of profitably producing heavy mineral sands and also has this Toliar project in Madagascar. Um, I believe that the combination of the team and that asset is, is company changing for energy fuels. Right. Now, obviously, I think the base shareholders understand the mineral sand side of the story, the, the, the equation, Elmanite, Rutal, et cetera, and the markets are well, well understood. For you, though, it's more than that. You get something for free. Yeah. We get the monazite for, for free. free. <laughs> for free. Yeah. And, and the exciting part for us is that um, when you look at the heavy mineral sand business, particularly with world-class assets, is the, the, these deposits, these projects stand on their own. They, they, they make money on their own without any credit for monazite. And this project, that project, the Toliar project, yeah. has a lot of monazite. So uh, I believe that for, for, for decades to come, 30, 40, 50 years, um, this is going to be a company-changing event for us and for the shareholders of base resources. Right. And, and of course, for, for base, the timing couldn't be better because you've, kind of, you've solved a problem for them, right? But you've also solved a problem for uh, energy fuels with this, with this monocyte. You've, we said to us with, uh, after Bahia, we're, we're out there. We're trying to identify the right project to give us that feed that we need for the, for the rare earth component of the, of the story. I mean, where, where does this put you in terms of monocyte? Uh, inventory, as it were. Uh, it, it's probably up to, up to 50, 60,000 tons a year of monazite, which when you convert that into NDPR, it's about the same scale of Linus is the, the molecule supply that we're the building. The Australian Rare Earth Company. Yeah, yeah, the Australian uh, Rare Earth Company. And, um, and, you know, I think I've told you before, but we, we did a global search of heavy mineral sand companies that had a lot of monazite. And we used TCMI, which is a consulting company in Perth and Singapore, and they searched 70 projects, and we came up with number uno. We went after it, and we secured the deal. That's base. It was base. Okay. And 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 I think this is a great testament to how focused we are on trying to build and building a world class, world scale, low cost um, rare earth business on top of and in conjunction with our uranium business. So there is no playbook here, Matt. We're coming up with it because there's never been an energy transition um, like there is today, and, and we're, writing the, we're writing the book here. Okay, well, let me, let me try and understand that, because it, it's, it's really the full package, isn't it? In, in the US, in a critical minerals hub that, that you've got with the white mesa bill, et cetera, and it might be, I'm, I'm heading there Next Sunday, I think. Next Sunday, yeah, I'm I think it's out. a 14th. Or Saturday, next Saturday. Yeah, 14th, right. yeah. So, um, with, with the kind of rare earth component, some people get it, some people don't, right? Because rare earth prices have been a bit erratic and it's kind of down, it's, it's been up, it's, it's a bit all over the place. But, but for you trying to be a Linus or equivalent to Linus, Linus is a $6 billion Aussie company, right? So, they're, they're, it's not. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And the reason they, they are able to do that is because the margins involved with projects like that, once you're able to, you're up and running and you can build, process, extract, and sell into market, is meaningful. Yeah, it is. It is meaningful. Now, you know, price of NDPR right now at about $50. I mean, that's putting a strain on everybody and putting a strain on Linus and MP and, and others. It put a strain on us. But, but the beauty of our our strategy here is that for the next, particularly next few years, we're gonna be producing uranium while we get these projects, you know, either fully permitted, constructed, and up and running. So we've got a couple years, two or three years of runway 
to right. pull this all together while we're uh, producing uranium uh, and ramping up the uranium production. So there really isn't, again, a model for anybody else who has done this. And uh, again, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just tickled that, that our company has this capability to do what we're doing here. So how do, how do, how do I value this thing? Because if I look at a mining, mining, mining companies, I know how to value them. I know what the multiples are. It, it, it's okay. It's good. When you're kind of getting into processing, like you're talking about doing something, like if I look at a line, that's the multiples that are... Yeah, I mean, yeah they're different. really, they're up there north to 10, 20 to 1. Right. And, um, and, and look, at heavy metal sand uh, revenue is really low, usually like 3 or something. So, mm. so when, we, when we do valuations on it, we kind of split it up what the, what the appropriate multiplier is for a uranium producer, what the multiplier is for heavy mineral sands. Uh, and for the rare earths. And so we, we actually blend that out to right. try to figure out where this could go. So, um, but I think, I think the most important thing is, uh, you know, I've, I've taken heat over the last year or so because we've been, you know, we started with Bahia and then we, we got the Donald Joint Venture, which I, I need to make sure that people understand. We have committed to spend $15 million to get to a final investment decision on Donald. Yeah. At that time, we'll make our final decisions on whether we go forward with the project or not. We believe we'll be going forward um, because it is a unique project in itself. But we have been building this, this, this critical mass on the back of uranium at scale, as I said, in the order of Linus in, in time, not overnight, uh, and pushing sort of the order of the, some of the Chinese monazite production for rare earths. Um, and it's really rewarding to get to where we are right now. Yeah, and I, I'm, I'm, sorry, I'm, I'm going to be a bit more blunt here. Um, with it, and you don't have to say anything, but I'm, I'm saying, as an investor, I'm looking at the kind of that blended multiple approach of, of yours. And even if I take a sort of quite conservative view on that, it's significantly higher than the multiples you're getting now. I, I calculate, right? So, yeah. So, and there's the the other factor here is with with base. You're talking about a 30, 40 year life of mine based on on current numbers that they they put forward, yeah. right? Correct. You can have to assess that yourself. Yeah. The um, I mean, the whole time we've been on this execution of this critical mineral hub, I mean, it was always focused on economics. It's always focused on profitability. It's about taking the bumps out of the road when you see the prices of these single commodities go up and down and how brutal those are yeah. to other companies. And, and we've seen it. We've seen it with uranium lately. We've seen it with graphite and cobalt and lithium. Um, and, and so with our ability to process the, the radioactive materials that, that, um, that we're, we're, we're going to be processing, um, you know, it just fits into our wheelhouse really nicely. So. Okay. So for the patient investor, it's building into something quite nice for, for a long term return and the types of money that Linus, if I look at Linus, the types of monies that they re return, the types of margin they make, again, it's very different from mining type margins as well. I think that's the kind of interesting factor to me if I, when I start leaning into this. Yeah, I think, I think that, that when um, you know, people are looking at energy fuels, we still believe that our best offense and defense is low cost. And um, the strategy that we're, you know, we're executing um, is 100% is focused on that. And I think the fact that it, it doesn't touch China and we've got a number of these, uh, you know, s several different countries here. When you look at Brazil, you look at Australia, you look at the arrangement we have with Comores and Florida and Georgia and the U.S. And then you look at Madagascar. <clears throat> we, we've, we've diversified ourselves in the supply chain from multiple sources. And, and I think that's a, a differentiator as well, too. So a lot of these companies have a single mine or whatever. And now um, with, you know, after close, which should be in the next couple of weeks with, with base, um, you know, we'll have a project team to help execute that strategy in the Southern Hemisphere. Well, like, I, like, I think that's enough. I, that's all I want to focus in on. I want people to try and uh, understand a little bit about what the opportunity is here. You've worked really hard to get this thing across the line. It's a good face start for many, many years ahead. And I just got to deliver the, the, the back end of yeah. this. Get oh, there's a lot of work to do. Yeah. I mean, there's a huge amount of work to do. So I'm not saying it's going to be easy. Um, I know it's going to take years, but you got to start somewhere. And we started when a lot of people weren't looking at 
the, um, the rare earths. Yeah. We started when the uranium uh, prices started to move, and um, I believe our shareholders are going to be rewarded handsomely in, in due course. Now, that may be a forward-looking statement, but I, I, I feel very, very good about the future of the company. Okay, man. It's good to see you live. Great to and see you. Always good to see you.